Hi, Gemini. This is Just with your November 4th, 2019 weekly reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So, Gemini, uh, your biggest challenge this week is to kind of step back, take a take a step back and look at things from afar um, and not get frustrated and aggravated because things aren't going in your favor, aren't going as fast as you would like and to be patient, really. And patience is going to be golden for you right now. We're in Mercury in retrograde. So it's in your sixth house. So you may have a lot of things, open-ended issues that you need to take care of. You may find yourself going back this week or wanting to go back and try to repair things and fix things and address things. Uh, only to kick up more dust. Only to kick up more conflict and grief. Not necessarily grief or strife. And that might have nothing to do with you. You might, you know, run a team or manage your place. And you now have to... Um, you have to calm down the problem, right? You may be the go-to person to alleviate any issues as well, uh, especially if you are a supervisor. But for others of you, it's more like trying to go back to a place um, and try to fix whatever was broken, whatever was the problem. You're constantly wanting to come out of a place of weight and stagnation um, because you have been driving yourself completely crazy uh, some of you have been going through a lot of stress, worry, and anxiety because the situation is not going in your favor or a situation has, um, some of you may feel like you have made a very selfish move, okay? You did something uh, selfish, not, I'm sorry, not selfish. Um, you took a foolish move. Um, I apologize about that. No, you, some of you may feel like you've foolishly, foolishly um, did something. Uh, made a decision or took a risk or taken a leap and it was a foolish one. And now you're very worried, stressed and have a lot of anxiety based around this risk that you took. OK, and now it's like almost like your hourglasses, you're like you're out of time. It's that type of thing. And you may feel like, well, you know, I only have a little bit of time to make this right. And it's like, well, it's not going to go in your favor. You're not going to be able to make it right, okay? This is just timing telling you that it's not the right time, Gemini. That's it, you know? And because of that, you're going to have to take a step back. I know you're stressed. I know you're worried. Some of you are stressed and you may have been stressed, but you're not stressed anymore. Now you're approaching it in a very logical, rational way. You're wanting to address the problem, but... Others around you, you may find that it's very problematic to get other people to see it your way. So, you know, it's, it's chaos amongst people. It's, you know, chaos could be coming your way as well. Um, and some of you, it's like, I can't go on to the next stage unless I get this under control. Uh, so you may be self... Um, conflicted okay with self you may have some conflictions about um, what you need to do next okay however i do see that as we go into the next week the end of this week going into next week um i feel like some of you are coming out of a fear place um you feel like whatever you have been plagued by you may feel like okay you can detach from that you're able to overcome it and it may come in the form of loss of income, loss of finances to some extent, family drama, family issues, um, and someone not necessarily putting the effort in any longer to rectify and fix a situation. This could very well be you. And I feel as a result, uh, some of you are just going to take a step back. You probably want, don't want to, and it, that could lead to some form of aggravation. Uh, but it's probably the best thing for you to do. So I would be extremely conservative with your finances at this time, because if you, especially if you run your own business, you know, for all of you that just work a job and you, you know, for honest day pay or the honest day's work, you get an honest day's pay. Um, there can be a loss of a job around you, like someone that you know could lose their job, that sort of thing. Um, or if there is uh, times for bonuses and um, salary increases, that sort of thing, there can be some disdain about that. It could be structural changes in the in the company and the business as well. But if you own your own business, be very conservative financially because you may have to pay out something that you thought was going to be very small and then be hit with a lump sum. You know, um, the problem it becomes bigger than what you anticipated. Um, and you may have sensed that, you know what, I, ne I need to get a handle on this. And then it kind of 
gets out of control. But it will, you know, it's not as bad as it could be. So for some of you, it may be a little. For others of you, it could be quite um, a little bit more than that. Um, and I feel like you will be um, a little detached, like not wanting to go back in. So whatever business, if you've taken a risk, that sort of thing, you've taken a loss and you're like, well, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm never going to do that again. That could be the lesson or it could just be a different lesson in which you need to learn in that circumstance. So there's a lesson here to be learned. Um, I feel like some of you may get a new car. Again, if it has something to do with new car, because it doesn't have to be work. It could be any way in which you're making money or you have financial ties to others. Um, it could be, again, someone owes you money and they've not given you your money back and that is completely um, problematic for you. If it is a car, you may literally have gotten a car from the wrong dealership, Okay. Um, if you've gone and got your car fixed, something like that, it could be car related. Uh, if you've gone on a trip, vacation, that sort of thing, you will find that money is lost or spent, right? In an exorbitant sort of way. It's kind of what I'm coming at here. Um, and it could be someone in your life who's not in the best place. Uh, someone may not be able to go on the trip. It could be you or another person because of it. Someone in your life could just really not be in a great place, especially if there's fi family dynamics that may be problematic when it comes to areas of lot of finances, that sort of thing. OK, now. So, I, again, be conservative financially. I definitely see losses all over the place and not really kind of wanting to see how this is going to pan out long term. Um, and so, um, you know, dealing with. Let's look at the elements. If you guys are dealing with fire energy, that could be very problematic right now. Fire, Geminis and fire signs are very challenged at this time, extremely challenged at this time. So be careful. You may have, you may, um, you may make a valid point, um, but you may be standing your ground and coming from a very clear, logical place, but it may be irrational at this time to try to communicate with a fire sign <laughs> because they fight, you know, they're, they're more of a fighting, They not to say that they fight with their words because that's more of an air energy, but they're more of an aggressor. So, and I'm not putting down any fire signs. So I don't want anybody to think that if you're cross watching, I'll just say this. Just know that fire signs and Geminis can be very problematic and challenging at this time if you're dealing with other air signs. I do feel like you may communicate a little bit more or an air sign can um, reach out to you to want to communicate with you. They also can be someone that um, needs your help, needs your aid, need to communicate. They could be going through a, a rough patch or they could sense that you are. So you may be able to get some very sound, logical, rational advice, very emotionally detached, but very practical advice from air signs right now. Um, and if you have a lawyer, that sort of thing, they will be able to help you. Some of you may be in employing a lawyer to help with something that has become com completely chaotic. Uh, now, if you're dealing with water sign energy, I feel like water signs are the best people right now to be your, um, ease to get out and have a good time with especially if it's more feminine energy i do feel like you will be happy at the end of the day even if you're not feeling so great you guys may have to pick a male water sign up and make them feel good so um i, I do feel the love being exchanged when it comes to water sign energies and if you're dealing with earth uh well earth signs is probably not that pleased with you um, there may be losses uh, either side, whether it be you or them, there's some losses that's taken here um, when it comes to earth signs, and that could be problematic as well. So let's get into love. When it comes to matters of love, I do feel like some of you, even though you weren't able to work on work a situation out with someone, build something with someone, you're still happy because you know that it's not completely over. Okay. Uh, some of you are going to try to fix something, whether you've done something wrong or not. I do see someone coming back to try to fix it. Uh, and it's not without um, conflict. So there will be a lot of bickering and getting on each other's nerves and little spats that's happening here. But that's not going to stop you from communicating and continuing to put in some form of an effort. 
Maybe because it's, at least you're getting, you're getting headway. At least they're picking up your phone call. At least they're answering the door. You know, it's that type of thing. Well, at least, you know, I got in this far. And I'm just going to keep prying the door open. <laughs> uh, some of you, uh, you're up and at it. So if you're a single Gemini, definitely you are going to be fighting them off like a stick. It's a lot, you're going to find it's very competitive out there. But it's a different kind of competitiveness because you may be more of a cerebral person. And you may find that a lot of people is all about sex and a quick and an easy time and that sort of thing um and so for some of you you may realize that this is not your thing the single life or however whatever kind of single atmosphere that you've gotten yourself in um you could have went to a party something like that and you're just like what no this is not me what did i do what did i think about and and you may have gone with girlfriends is what it looks like and it's just not your thing or you're just not meeting people that you feel um has that spark so singles i really don't see much of anything this particular week if you're if you are meeting people though just be very careful about them because i do feel like things would change really fast once we go into sagittarius season like on a dime things are going to change um and if somebody has a spell on you and i don't mean literally but you know you meet someone and it's like i don't know what it is but i'm just so into this person by the time we get in capricorn season that'll be over you'll wake up one day and be like i don't even like you i'm not even attracted to you so the other gemini will come in <laughs> um but love aspects in a, in a relationship situation some of you are really trying to go to someone and trying to reunite wanting bygones to be bygones some of you really feel as though this person could be upset and just holding back or saying very emotionally hurtful things to detach from you. Um, I feel like, is like I said, there's been a lot of fights, a lot of bickering. And I also feel that this person is no longer um, under control by you. So if, if it was a very sex-based um, connection, they're not as caught up on it as they used to be. I feel like this person is not necessarily wanting to invest, and this could be you or them, it could go vice versa, but there's no invest investing in something long term. And even on the levels of passion, if you guys have had an amazing, passionate connection, that is even stagnant or even um, non existent at this time. So some of you, it's like almost like went from bad to worse um, in, a, in a situation like one, two, three. It really went bad, and it could have been on the hills of someone going to see another person and realizing just how much things have changed okay it's like a 180 someone has completely done a 180 and again this could be you gemini or the other person um and you feel like no it's not over you know and, and that's how you could have taken on the stance like no this is not over um but then it's almost like it it didn't go your way and we're only talking about a week's time uh things can be completely different i'm seeing gemini once we get into and i know this is going to be a stretch wait for it <laughs> tourist season 2020 that's what i'm gonna say that's what i see and for some of you you will meet the person that you're going to marry tourist season 2020 five months you know five months into obviously the new year um, but commitment, marriage commitment is looking at your face. So this, it could be with this person. You guys just may be doing this off and on, off and on, off and on until it's like, okay, finally, it's our time. And now we're going full speed ahead. If it's not this person, then there will be someone coming in. I know it's a, a ways away. Your blanking will be there. Um, but I do see that coming up. But right now, this particular week, I don't. And for some of you, it doesn't have to be May. For some of you, it could be any time, like a, a week, couple of weeks from now, things change on a dime. So this week, though, so um, you may not feel like it is something that's going to be go the distance and that there's a lot of frustration and angst that surrounds the two of you. Too much fighting and bickering, which isn't going to make someone so romantic toward the other person, right? So that's kind of what I'm seeing here. But we're going to look in the extended to see if what I'm seeing in a couple of extra cards that I pull, if this is going to be happening within a month or two months time when you guys are brought back on a road of a full-on commitment, or is this going to be something that this is going to end and something new is going to come in? And as, I, as I've been telling all the signs, if you want to know other details of what we look into in the extended, click the link to the description box below. Um... Or, or check out the description box below, I should say, and that'll tell you all of the um, areas in which we focus on. We also look at you, Gemini Singles. So if you're interested in not, not just this week, but down the line as well, you can click that link to the extended and we can finish up this love reading. If you like something personal with me, click that link to my website and you can set something up for yourself. I would love to hear from you guys. If you'd like to share, please do so in the comment section below. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Gemini.